Hey everybody, thank you for watching my videos. Today, because it's the beginning of bow season, I'm going to talk about my bow. Uh, this is a Matthews Helium. Um, I purchased it from a friend of mine. He knew that I was looking for, or looking into getting a bow, and he uh, had actually just bought himself a new one, so he sold this one to me and a couple arrows with it. Um, when it comes to bows, you can get a recurve, you can get a compound like this one, or you can get a crossbow. Uh, depending on where you live um, and hunting restrictions and everything, um, you may not be able to use a crossbow. Uh, it just depends. Um, but I basically left everything the same. Um, got it readjusted to me uh, with the peep sight and um, the draw weight I left the same at about 60 pounds. Um, so um, me and him are about the same size, so it, it, it worked out, um, but adjusted it to, to me and everything. Um, the arrows that he, uh, had sold me with them, um, they, they work, they would work for hunting as well as for, um, target shooting. Um, but I decided to use those as only target, uh, arrows and to purchase my own that are very similar to the ones that, uh, came with this one. Uh, the arrows that I got are Blackout X5 Envy, uh, 400 spine. Um, when it comes to spines, um, that's basically the stiffness of the arrow. Um, the lower the number, the more stiff that it is. Um, 400 was the same that he had used before. Um, he's been bow hunting for, for years. Um, this is actually my first year bow hunting. Um, so I got these. Um, I thought that with the camo bow, uh, in my opinion, I thought the uh, orange and white went really well with it. Um, I know that that doesn't make it any more accurate or um, uh, perform any better. But um, then I also got um, Luminoc GT Orange Knox. Um, you can kind of see that there's a gap there, if it'll focus. Um, when this hits the target, um, it will basically push the knock against the arrow and it lights up a bright orange. Um, makes it easier to see where uh, where your arrow is. Um, I know that there's uh, different options. Um, doing my research, it seems like uh, red and green can be the, the brightest um, during daylight. Um, they also have strobing ones that'll either strobe one color or two colors. Um, but I just decided um, a solid orange and uh, they're pretty bright, so I look forward to using them. Uh, as for the broadhead, um, I have a Rocky Mountain Switchblade, is what this one is called. And it's a fixed blade, as you can see there. That blade doesn't change, it doesn't move. But on the other sides, that's a mechanical blade. Um, that little rubber band there will slide down as it goes into the target, and the uh, two blades on the sides will then expand to two and seven eighths inches. Um, and uh, I did research and asked my friends and everything and you know their opinion. One may say, I'm only going with mechanical. They've always worked for me and stuff. Fixed blades get uh, bent so easy and you're constantly replacing them. Um, and then another friend would be like uh, saying that fixed blades are the way to go. Mechanicals don't open how they should and then that can cause a problem. Um, so it, it seems like it's down to preference, and since it's my first year uh, bow hunting, um, I, I didn't have any, you know, I don't have any experience with them, and I thought that these looked pretty neat and they had good reviews, so I thought why not combine both uh, fixed and mechanical. Um, as for release, um, I have this right here, and this is a Scott Archery Little Goose, it says there. Um, with this one, uh, it's actually adjustable. Um, there's a, uh, on the other side here, um, with an Allen wrench, you can get that, and then you can slide it out so it can be longer um, or shorter. Um, and then also, uh, I think that's the one that adjusts it, um, it adjusts the trigger. Uh, right now, I have this basically as a hair trigger. Um, not a lot of pressure, and it's gonna release um, also kind of something, uh, that I thought is a, if it'll focus, 
Um, as you can see, uh, sometimes both of them have the, um, for lack of a better term, C-shaped clamp. Um, this one has a C-shape as well as a flat. Um, it allows the uh, uh, string to go out of it uh, more smoother. Um, so this is the release that, that I got. And so that's all my, my gear. Um, I look forward to uh, hunting this year. Um, been rifle hunting several years, but this is my first year bow hunting. So um, it's for whitetail deer. Um, so uh, comment below um, your setup. Um, what gear do you have and take with you? Um, your thoughts. Uh, have you been bow hunting before? Do you prefer bow versus rifle? Um, just let me know and everything. And I'll see you later. Thanks.